thinking I don't want to put too much Payne's Gray in that tail. I think I want to mix up more of a let me mix up more of a brownie black for that. Okay, let me do that. I'll be back. Okay, got my brownie black. Took me a little while to mix up what I wanted, so what I was sat satisfied with. So we're going to come in here. My brownie black be wound up being a mixture of uh, what did I use? The translucent orange, a little Indian yellow, a little alizarin crimson, and then back and forth, and then some, um, thalo green, a little back and forth of thalo green and alizarin crimson, till I got to a little brown, a nice brownie black color, so... I'm just going to have to kind of swoosh in a little color here. Not using quite as fine tipped a brush. This is a number six. Yeah, this is a number six uh, Kolinsky Silver brand brush. And I kind of want to remember. Okay, there's a little, a little stroke here, just, just a bit over. I'm going to keep you over there, please. I'll have to be careful now that I got that wet. So I'm just going to try to use it more on the tip. Just a little more on the tip there. Now, would like to keep that a little more defined. So I'm going to come in now and try to make some curves of the hair here. like to clean that up just a little bit. Now once this dries, then I'm going to come in and accent with the darker black with my Payne's Gray for the darker black. I just want to build some color here. This will help build some depth of color. And again, we'll work on the forelock. And I'm hoping the Payne's Gray will uh, that dark black, it'll pull it all together. At least that's my plan. <laughs> it's always good to have a plan with your watercolors. And then it's always good to have plan B with your watercolors. This plan B usually gets implemented more than you realize. Okay, a little more in there. Okay. All right, so I wonder if this brown will work good as my shadow color layer. 
So let's try that. I'm going to try that. I'm going to glaze this in as a shadow. So I need a clean, clear brush. Something, now I need to get a brush that's not going to hold too much extra water. So I'm going to use this one. Ooh, this does not say which one it is. It's all rubbed off already. I want to say this is a Cheap Joe's watercolor brush. It's like a number two, maybe, or four. I can't tell anymore. It's all rubbed off. All right, so let me just gently wet my paper. Be careful under my jowl there. And I'm just going to add just a bit. Let's see what happens. I drop that in. Just want to add little drops, not a lot. And some shadow. Employ my little spotter here. I will soften that edge. There we go. Okay. Remember what I got what here. Sometimes I got I start getting three brushes in my hands. I, I gotta remember. Okay, what brush is what? So I'm just gonna start daubing a little heavy, heavier application of paint. Just doing the shadow here. Is that still wet enough? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, that doesn't look too bad. All right, let's go down here now. A little clear water. Rub that to a point. And just kind of spot in. Right there. Pick up a little more brown. All right, let's move in on our pectorals here and our chest. It's a nice big muscular quarter horse looking type of uh, picture. I think I'm going to dry a little wet on dry here. Just going where my darkest darks are. Okay. Uh, Let's do a little bit right here on top of this knee. And then on this forearm, this other leg, I want to put some right underneath. I think I want to add some right on top of that black. Make that a more of a brownie black there. Same thing here. All right, and my belly now. Okay, I want to try to let's put a little definition on our forearm right here on our horse, and then just tie that in on the belly. 
Just a little. Okay. And right under our gaskin here, thigh. And we'll bring that down into the black. Adds our shadows. There, I think that worked pretty well. Now, let's see. What am I going to do in my face here? Not too much, actually. There's not very many strong shadows on the face. And they need to be, actually that needs to be, I'm thinking that's more of an orangey shadow. So I'm not going to use the brown. The nose is still a bit more gray. Maybe a little bit there. There, and let's continue out our forehead here. There we go. Okay, yeah, I need to make some orangey shadow for that face. It doesn't need a brownie shadow. Okay. All right, as soon as that's all dry, then I'll come in with the Payne's Gray, and that'll probably be it. I bet I could use this down here on our feet. Let's give our pony some hooves. Let's finish these hooves out. This brown should work fine for their feet down, for his little hooves right here. And this is in down here, that's in the shadow. So I'll try to darken that a little bit. This is in the shadow here. Okay, and you back here, just a little bit. Yeah, the back leg, I am probably not gonna do much more on that back leg, except, I think I'll add some down here. There we go, that'll pop that leg forward. There, pops that front leg forward a bit. And it looks like I need to pop that, there we go. There's a little bit of that back leg right there. And I need to, I'm gonna, I need to darken that just a bit more. Let me add Let's see. Some of this brown mix is drying. Maybe I can put it in a little darker now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's get under there. As I want this forearm that foreleg to come forward. I may need to add just, let me add a little blue to that. Pick up a little ultramarine blue. There we go. There we 
go. And that there. And that helps to bring that. You can tell there's a back leg there, but it doesn't interfere with the front leg here. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, leave it alone. Oh, I could just tweak and tweak and tweak. Okay. How dry are you? Is it dry enough? I wonder. Let's experiment here. Let me put this... I'm going to bring in this blue... that a little more solid over the back. Uh, that, that blue may work. I may not use the gray. I may not use as much of it as I thought. Pick up a little more of that blue. Okay, let me leave that alone now. All right, what am I going to do with my muzzle here? The muzzle is mostly gray-ish. So I need to go back, pick up that gray color, and I'm going to spot in more underneath and on top here. Bear with me just a second. I need to mix up. Actually, I still have some of that gray black I made earlier. And I'm going to mix this up here a bit. All right, how dark are you? Okay, this upper lip, I wanna go underneath my little pony's upper lip here. And then there's a little bit of shadow behind the nostril a bit. And then a little bit of gray on the outside. And of course it's a little darker gray toward the opposite side. And I really need to put a little darker color in that nostril. Now I'm just going to add some water to gray. Bring a little gray out for the rest of the mu muzzle. Maybe a little bit more water. Maybe not. Okay, 
could use a little more over there. Okay. See, I can soften that a little. Let's soften that just a bit. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to put some Payne's Gray in that nostril and make it just a tad more defined. But all that's got to dry first. Okay, so as you can tell, we're getting close now. Getting all the details in. Getting finished, finished up. I don't see any hard lines too much. That uh, bothers me too much. I think I'm going to make a little orangey uh, mid-tone mid color here. For a little more shadowing here under the eye and the cheek. And a little more shadowing on the far side of this chest a bit. So, let me work on that. I still got my base colors mixed up. And let me go back to, I think this number two or four brush it is. Add a little water. And I remix. Draw in a little more orange. I think that should work. So, let me get a clear water brush. A clear water to kind of draw it in. And we're going to put glaze orange right over here. And clear water, just kind of glaze it in. I'll drop in a little more color. And let's see. Oop, switch my brushes here. I want the color brush there. Drop in a little more color in that shadow area. So back up here. And then the clear, clear water. So move it a bit. Drop a little more there. Thinking, I want a little bit of a warm. Oh, that's clear. Here's this is one that has paint on it. Drop a little shadow in there on that neck. That's so why I want to get the roundness of the neck there. Okay, and I think I add a little more shadow over here. 
and then clear water just to glaze it in just a bit. Be sure I don't have any hard lines here. I'm just, whatever kind of pops out at me as a hard line, then I figure that's not really necessary. I want to go back in and soften it. Okay. I want to say this shadowy area. But I can't. It's probably not the right brush to do that with. Okay, this is going to dry. All right, this is going to dry, and then I'll come back and finish the detailing on the face, the tail. Then I'm going to mix up some more of my background color, and then I'm going to tidy up these legs down here. And then. Maybe punch up the shadow area a bit, and then I'm going to call it finished. <laughs> 